What's up, familia? Hello from Los Angeles. We made it to the United States of America, and I am so happy right now, although I'm incredibly jet lagged. So, this is going to be a 20 minute pure relaxation, beautiful stretch out. This is perfect if you are jet lagged, if you're feeling a little bit tired. I'm also on my time of the month, so it's perfect for that as well. And just if you're feeling tight and a bit sore from the workout, super, super important that you're stretching out, you're relaxing your body and also your mind, and so, so important for your progress as well. So, all you're going to need if you have it is one of the lean bands. I would recommend using one of the hip bands for this, but if you don't have the hip band, you can use the adjustment band this one is perfectly extra strong it's going to give you that little bit of a deeper stretch if you don't have it you can just use your hand or a towel is another option it's a straight 20 minute countdown timer and obviously you need a mat as well a nice soft surface I just want to let you guys know as of tomorrow yes tomorrow we have our lean summer sale so it's basically up to 40% off 40% that's absolutely crazy off of some of the lean products and that includes all of the bands so you can get this very band up to 40% off you can get the adjustable bands at up to 40% off the long bands are up to 40% off so all of the bands are on sale and that's from 3 p.m bst that's uk time tomorrow which for la those of you in la that is 7 a.m but just chuck it into google 3 p.m uk time to work out whatever it is wherever you are around the world and that sale lasts i think for 48 hours two days maybe three days but get in there quickly if you want to snag the bands and the lean skipping rope that's all of the products that are on sale up to 40 percent off okay we'll get started in 15 seconds also to let you guys know, the brand new 28 day challenge also started on the Lean app today. It's the Lily Savory Guide, four weeks worth of my favorite workouts, minimum 30 minutes, all the way up to 45, 50 minutes, and it is absolutely killer, but in the most incredible way. So I hope you are getting involved in that. So we're gonna start off on our butt, okay? Everything okay with the sound, Alex? Fantastic, right, 15 seconds till we get started. So we're gonna do a controlled roll down. So pulling the core in nice and tight, relax the shoulders, the palms are facing inwards or upwards. And from there, we're gonna segmentally lower the spine, starting off with the lower back, mid back, and upper back, amazing. So to start off with, now we're in the lying position. I want you to bring both knees in towards the chest. And we're just gonna do some small circles, gently mess massaging, out the spine. So guys, the flight here was 17 hours straight and the time difference is 11 hours. So right now I'd be asleep <laughs> in Dubai and it's the morning here in LA. It's just crazy. Okay, and changing direction. Just some gentle, gentle rocking, massaging out that lower back. Good work. We're just concentrating on our breathing control. That's why we've got no music on today. Just concentrating on that breathing. Nice, calm, deep breaths. Close the eyes if you want to. In through the nose, filling the lungs, and then sighing that breath out through the mouth. And I really want you to relax during this stretch. Good. From there, I want you to hold behind the back of the thighs interlock those fingers or gently hold it's up to you and then from there you're just going to rock yourself all the way up into sitting and back again and as you get a little bit more confident i'm keeping my eyes shut you're going to find that you rock that bit further good breathing calm deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now we're gonna try and do it so that our feet don't touch the floor as we land at the top, using that core. Keeping those eyes closed if you want to, relaxing the body, nice calm, deep breaths, filling those lungs, in through the nose, relax the shoulders, and out through the mouth. Amazing, coming all the way back down into lying now. You're now gonna take the left knee bent, foot down to the floor, hug that right knee in towards the chest, and you're just gonna 
draw some circles with the ankle. Just getting that nice mobility going through the ankle joints and change direction. And this is also really, really good for getting rid of any puffiness that you may have in your legs, which I certainly have from such a long flight and also being my time of the month as well. I get a hell of a lot of water retention and that's perfectly normal, that's fine, but this is really, really nice for relieving that tension. Good, and we're going to change on to the other side, this time hugging the left knee in and just letting that ankle completely relax as you draw some nice circles with it. Relaxing those shoulders, closing those eyes and concentrating on that breathing control and change direction. And if you're feeling slightly anxious today or you've got a lot going on in your mind, just try and let it all go and use this 20 minutes for you. This is a moment for you to relax and treat yourself to some self-love and care. Good. From there, you're going to keep with this same left leg. Now we're going to hug behind the back of the thigh, hug the knee in nice and close towards the chest, take a deep breath in, on that breath out, you're going to straighten the leg out as far as you feel able, it may be here, it may be all the way straight, it really doesn't matter as long as you're feeling a nice stretch here, down the hamstring, those three muscles in the back of the leg. Good. Now on the breath in, you're going to bend that knee a few inches, breath out, straighten. Breath in, bend. And breath out, straighten. Last two, bend. And breath out, straighten. Last one, breath in, bend. And breath out, straighten. Amazing work. Bend that knee again. This time you're going to use your band. You're going to hook the band around the ball of the foot and flex those toes, okay? Keeping the knee in towards the chest. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, straighten that leg out as far as you feel possible. We're now going to do some PNF stretching, okay? So this is a, a physio move here. On that breath in, I want you to push against the band to try and point the foot and keep the tension on the band. So you're fighting against the band. So watch this. Breath in, try and point. Point, 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 point. Breath out, relax and flex the foot. Breath in, point. And if you don't have the band, you can do this with a towel or just hold the stretch. Breath out, relax. Last two, breath in, point, 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 breath out, relax. Last one, breath in, point, 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 and breath out, relax. And PNF stretching, hold, relax stretching is so good for getting that deeper stretch. So you may feel this in the calf, all the way down into the hamstring, that posterior chain. Good work. Aiming to straighten that knee, but absolutely fine if you can't. Breathe it out. Three. Good work. Relax those shoulders. Calm that breathing. Two. And one. Amazing. You're now going to hold on with the left hand. You've got the left leg up. Drop that right arm off to the side, palm facing upwards. Take a deep breath in. Slightly bend the knee. On the breath out, you're going to take that leg out to the side. And they're still okay and in frame, Alex. Great. <laughs> it's a bit of an old move. <laughs> okay, so you're feeling that stretch now. In the adductor, those groin muscles, inner thighs, I want you to try and keep the right hip down on the floor. And then from there, only when you feel able, try and straighten that knee out a little bit more. Don't lock it completely. Keep that slight micro bend in there. And then if that is enough, fine, hold it there. But if you want to increase the stretch with those calm, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, try and take that foot up towards the head a little bit more. And breathe. You're killing it, guys. Just relax. How's everyone going, Alex? Good. Just what I needed for sure, I have to say. <sighs> Good. One more breath cycle in through the nose. And when you go up, 
through the mouth. Just try to increase that stretch a little bit. Now bend that knee. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, use that core to slowly bring you back into neutral. Amazing work. You're going to change over the hand hold now. So holding on with the right hand. This time you take that left arm out to the side, palm facing upwards. Slight bend through the knee. This time you're going to straighten that right leg out, flex the right foot and push that right knee down in towards the mat. Actually activate by pushing down. Take a deep breath in, on the breath out, aiming to keep that left shoulder blade on the mat. Look towards the left hand and rotate your body over. Hold at the point that you feel that your shoulder blade is leaving the mat. So you might not get all the way down. If this happens, you've gone too far, okay? Good, let that right knee bend now. Amazing. And again, with each breath out, just try and take it a little bit further. Completely relaxing that body. Breathing, relaxing the mind. Amazing, with each breath out. Just letting gravity do its work, take you into a slightly deeper rotation and stretch. Amazing. Two more breath cycles in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last one in. You're now going to loosen off that band. You're going to place this right hand on the outside of the left knee and just apply the smallest little over pressure. Just literally let gravity do its work. Just the weight of the hand may be enough to increase that stretch. And here you've got four breath cycles, a deep breath in through the nose, really fill the lungs. You'll feel that ribcage expand, sigh it out through the mouth. Three more in. And out. Two more. Last one, though. Amazing. Grabbing a hold of that band again. Use that core. Turn on those stomach muscles. Take those muscles, belly button, back towards the spine. And bring yourself back into neutral. Amazing work. We're going to change over legs now. So you're going to bring that right knee up. You're going to feed that foot in. Good. And then take that other leg down. Okay. Amazing. From there, I want you to take the knee in towards the chest. Actually, sorry, we're going to take the band off first. You're going to interlock the hands, fingers behind the back of the thigh. I want you to flex that right foot. Okay. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, straighten as far as you feel able. Oh, this one's tighter. And breath in, bend. Breath out, straighten. Breath in, bend. Last two. And bend. Last one. Amazing. From there, you're now going to take the band, and the band is going to come just around the ball of the foot. It's important that it's the ball of the foot rather than the arc, okay? From there, bring that knee in towards the chest. On that breath out, straighten out as far as you feel able. We're going to go for those PNF stretches again. Just want you to do a few little shoulder rolls here, and then take those shoulders down. Down and in. Relax them. And you don't want to feel tension in the shoulders. This is all about the legs right now. Okay, from here on that breath in, you're going to straighten out against that band and apply the pressure as you pull down, okay? All right, let's go. Breath in. Push, 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 push. And breath out, relax. Breath in. Push, 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 push. And breath out, relax. Two more. Let's go. Breath in. Oh, wow, this side is so much tighter for me. Look at that shake. And relax. 
last one. Let go. And relax. And just ease into that stretch. Breathe. Enjoy it. My gosh, Lily Savory, your hamstrings are tight. Good, relax the body, relax the mind. For me, relax the stomach, so I've been getting nasty cramps. Such a nice way of just relaxing your body. Amazing. Okay, from here, we're gonna micro bend. We're gonna take the leg out to the side. Take that left arm out, palm facing upwards. We have a nice deep breath in, and on the breath out, we're gonna drop that leg out to the side. Just as far as you feel able. Again, you wanna keep that left shoulder blade down and breathe for me. And for me, I don't know about you, but this side for some reason is like, hello, I'm very, 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 very tight. <laughs> oh, wow. And again, like before, only if you feel able to increase that stretch if you're already touching the floor, you're just gonna take that foot up towards the head. If you're not touching the floor, just hold it where it is, breathe, enjoy, and don't force it, okay? Just go with that stretch. Breathe into it. Good, a few more breath cycles in through the nose. And out through the mouth. In. And out. Two more in. On that breath out, try and take it a little bit further. Last one in. And out. Okay, coming back into neutral now. Amazing work. From there, we're gonna come into that spinal rotation. Okay, so we're gonna change the grip, holding on with the left hand down. Take that right arm out to the side. We have that slight bend in the knee. Take a deep breath in, straighten that left leg out. Flex down, flex the foot, and rotate. Trying to keep, oh, some nice clicks, that right shoulder blade down on the mat. And it doesn't matter how far you get, you're going to see I'm not touching the floor today because I'm extra, extra tight after that long flight. And that's fine. Just go with what works for your body today. No harsh expectations. Just breathe into it. Doesn't matter how far you go, just enjoy it. Enjoy that feeling of self care, looking after your body. And you'll find it gets a little bit more subtle with each breath out. Just let that body relax. Good. Keep that right shoulder blade down. Amazing. Loosen off the band if you can, if the foot is on the floor. If not, keep a hold of the band. And then only if you want to, apply that real slight over pressure down. Breathe, you guys. Amazing work. Two more. Last breath. Wow, I feel relaxed. Okay, holding back onto that band now. Good. Turn on that core. Engage those stomach muscles. Bring yourself back into neutral. Incredible. From there, I want you to take that band off. Bring both knees now in towards the chest. Okay, a few circles in each direction with those ankles. And changing direction. Nice. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of hip work. We've already started it, but we have some more to do. Holding on each knee with the individual hands just lightly. We're going to draw some circles in opposite directions. Mobilizing into the ball and socket joint of the hips. Got a lot of movement through those hips. A lot of movement available. The ball and socket joint is the most supple joints of all of them in the body in terms of the angles that you can perform movements. 
We want to make sure that we're loosening off those hips, changing direction, especially if you work at a desk, if you sit for long periods of time, you'll find that your hip flexors in particular are really, really tight and short. And that's okay, because we're going to loosen them off next. Good. Last stretch while we're here in this position, drop the knees down. From here, I just want you to open out into a groin stretch, okay? By taking those legs out. Place the hands onto the inner thighs. Just apply a very small overpressure down. Two breath cycles only. That's one. One more. Amazing work. Straighten those legs out for me. Give them a little shake. From here, we're going to go into a little bit of upper body before we bring ourselves up into that hip flexor stretch, okay? From here, take the arms down by the side of the body. Relax that lower body. Let the feet fall outwards. Take a deep breath in as you take those arms up and over the head and allow that rib cage to flare. You want it up. Feel that stretch in the spine. On the breath out, bring the arms back down by the side of the body in a D shape. Breath in, up and over. Breath out that ground and down. Breath in, up and over. Breath out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And this time you hold it here, holding onto the hands and you're just gonna pretend that you're on a little traction machine, pulling your feet side to side, stretching all the way through the waist. One leg moves at a time. Stretching those feet as far away from the fingertips as you feel you can, okay? You're trying to get as tall as possible. Good, that rib cage is flared. We're taking really deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And now we reverse that, taking the rib cage down again. So we go from here to here. Okay, knees come back up. Use a little bit of momentum if you need it with those arms, otherwise, so you're either swinging up, okay? Otherwise, control it up if you've got that core strength today. <sighs> My core's feeling weak today. Okay, from here, we're just gonna go with one last stretch, which is your hip flexors. Okay, I want you to bring yourself into all four, the all fours position. You're then gonna step your left foot forward. Place your hands onto your left knee, and you're gonna sink forward into that stretch. Oh, wowza, I'm feeling that. How's everyone getting on, Alex? Relax. Good, that is what I like to hear. So you're sinking forward into that stretch. Good work, you guys. And this is only for those of you who are feeling super, super supple. I'm not gonna do it today, just because I am most definitely not. But you'll be lifting up that back leg, and if you can, holding on to it. But I'm gonna lower down. My body is saying no today. And it is so important to listen to your body, especially with stretches. Good, sink that body weight forward, relax those shoulders and breathe. Two and one. And from there, we're now just gonna walk that foot, left foot towards the right hand and then drop the knee down. I love this stretch, pigeon. And then we just gotta even you out, then we're done. Okay. Feeling that stretch in the glutes and also the hip flexor. Only if you want to, this may be enough, drop the forearms down and you can even straighten that hands all the way out and take your body weight down. Obviously I don't have space here. Or just staying like so. Relax those shoulders. Three, two, place those hands down. One, take that foot back. Good work. This time we're gonna take that right foot forward. So stepping it, good and sinking into that stretch. Amazing, you should feel that here. Okay, taking that body weight forward, relaxing those shoulders again if you want to, bend that back knee up. It's up to you. Three. Two. And one. Now taking that foot over, Drop that knee down and enjoying that pretzel stretch. Relax. Hold it here if that's enough. Otherwise, down onto those forearms. Sway a little bit until you find that area of tension and then honor it. Hold there. Reach those hands forward. Walk those 
those fingertips forward if you want to. Two more breath circles. Three. Two. And one. Amazing work, you guys. Worship pose. Letting all that tension out of the body. Relax completely if you want to. Take yourself into child's pose. Arms down by the side of the body. You are done. I am so proud of you. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it relaxing. I hope you're feeling like you are ready to conquer your day or ready to go to sleep, <laughs> regardless, whatever time it is for you. I hope you have found some relief in that 20 minute or just over 20 minute session. You are incredible. You should be so proud of yourselves. My workouts aren't easy and the fact that you are showing up, you are killing it, especially on the app. The app workouts, as you already know, <laughs> the, the like intensity of the app workouts is, is pretty real. I'm not gonna lie. So please, please, please take time to stretch. Take time to recover. Take time to just be proud of yourselves because you are doing so well with my YouTube workouts, with my app workouts. You are killing it, honestly. I'm just so proud of you. You're taking the steps towards living your best life where you're already doing it, your healthiest and your happiest life, and you should be so proud of yourself. And yeah, the only other thing to remember is this sale. So all of the bands, literally all of them, including the long bands, this is the first time ever that the long bands, look how beautiful they are, are going on sale. They have never, ever been on sale before. Um, so everything is on sale bands wise. Also the jump rope, the skipping rope, up to 40% off and it's for limited time only. It's our summer sale, our lean summer sale. And that starts tomorrow at 3 p.m. BST on the website and on the app, Alex. I'm actually not sure. Uh, should, be. should be on the app as well. So you can shop on the app um, and there's bundles as well. Uh, but certainly on the website leanwithlily.com we'll put it all in the description box guys I love you so much well done everyone happy snacker love it good oh and I feel so much better didn't I feel dreadful this morning <laughs> I woke up and I was like oh. <laughs> so I feel so much better I hope you do too guys I love you well done